What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So today, I want to talk about the new Dying Light 2 second anniversary update, and I'm gonna predict what this new update may contain. Take note, I may not be 100% accurate on what my predictions is, but it's worth a guess since Techland said this will be one of their biggest updates since the last two years this game has been out. If you're also wondering, when did Teclan say this? It was last year during the fall and winter roadmap reveal. The lead game designer of Dying Light 2 known as Timon Smectala said this upcoming second anniversary will be the biggest anniversary update yet. So I think an obvious guess is firearms will finally come to the game this coming February 8th since the promotional picture has a SMG crossed with the Last Hope axe right here. Another guess is, maybe Tolga and Fatin will show up as well and assign us new co-op missions and might just be the long-awaited Chapter 3 we've been waiting for just over a year and a half now. Also, I hope the firearms doesn't ruin the lore and just pop up out of thin air. I hope the firearms are hidden in a place and maybe Tolga and Fatin are the ones to find out where these firearms were stashed, since I know a general confiscated all the firearms used years ago during the outbreak because of a mass shooting massacre that happened in Villador called the March Massacre. Also to catch you up to speed, if you don't know who Tolga and Fatin are, they are these twins from Dying Light 1 which were mad scientists and created all sorts of insane projects. So it makes sense to why Tolga and Fatin would potentially want us to find the guns and maybe they have some sort of advanced weapons prototypes planned. Finding the guns could be like a raid where we go into a spooky volatile hive and we gotta make our way through and find a massive amount of loot boxes full of guns that have been contained for years so they can't rust. I also hope other enemy factions find out about these areas where the guns were stashed so we can fight enemies with guns as well because us shooting at unarmed enemies would be way too easy to kill them. But for the love of god, I hope this doesn't ruin the lore and it actually properly has a reasoning in the lore to why the guns are now showing up. Also, I hope these missions finding the firearms doesn't pop up yet till you finish the main story because that's how it probably should work chronologically in the lore. It should work as an endgame content since it doesn't make sense for Aiden to find the guns before the end of the main story because nobody found the guns yet before the end of the main story. But now let's move on to talking about the tower raid that was announced in the roadmap from last year. I don't know if tower raid will come in this new update, but if it does, this definitely will be something to potentially keep us busy for a long time, and my guess is we can go up to as many different floors in the VNC tower and clear them out and gain a bunch of cool rare loot. I'm guessing the VNC Tower Raid may be similar to the Division 2's Summit Tower Raid game mode, but I could be wrong. I'm also hoping this VNC Tower Raid game mode is very challenging and very fun similar to Dying Light 1's Bozak Horde, which I still play to this day. The Bozak Horde is way more fun than Dying Light 2's Bloody Ties Trials and definitely more challenging. But now let's talk about whether or not will there be new finishers in this update for Dying Light 2. Since Teclan added new finishers to Dying Light 2 last year, it would be really interesting to see if they would add even more finishers to the game, potentially firearm finishers. So think of a John Wick takedown while having to have a gun equipped and you flip over your enemy and shoot them in the face, etc. Type of anything, you know, involving firearms, shoot to the chest headshot or something like that. That would be a really cool thing. I think that would be really cool though, but they should also add even more melee finishers because I made a video recently called Dying Light 2 Brutality Manhunt Execution Style. I did a bunch of brutal kills to where I tried making Dying Light 2 look like the game Manhunt and we all know how brutal the game Manhunt is and it is also made by Rockstar Games. So yeah, if Teclan were to add even more execution animations, I think it would be fantastically awesome and I will definitely very much welcome it because Dying Light 2 is an ever-changing game and I enjoy all the changes and quality of life changes that this game goes through. 
Also, we are getting a Chinese New Year update with Dying Light 2 just like last year. But I wonder if we will get more stuff this year. I honestly don't know what else it could have. But be on the lookout for that since the event will have more than just one part. It says part 1. But another thing I really hope this update brings us as well is a hotfix for co-op. Since sometimes co-op likes to get all glitchy and not work. And sometimes we will get an audio bug that has been in the game for a long time and just randomly happens. So please Techland, hopefully we get a hotfix for bugs that happen in co-op. I understand co-op is better now compared to what the game was like at launch two years ago but the co-op isn't perfect and still can be a little unstable at times so please Techland, please address these issues. But last but not least is I hope Techland hosts a live stream event for the second anniversary on Twitch or YouTube to where they tease what's to come later on in the year like a spring and summer roadmap and a teaser to the new story expansion coming out later known as a DLC 2 or its leaked name Dying Light 2 New Frontier. Dying Light 2's DLC 2 expansion has been very anticipated by the Dying Light fans a lot and we hope Teclan can slowly pull that curtain back and reveal the logo to the new expansion and tease what this could be about. A lot of people are also hoping we get some sort of vehicle similar to Dying Light 1's expansion known as The Following, which had a massive countryside and had enough room to drive dune buggies. A lot of the Dying Light community are hoping for this time around we get a dirt bike or a motorcycle or anything like that maybe even a bicycle since there was a bicycle easter egg in Dying Light 2's main game. Also having a biker skill tree in the expansion would also be very sick because we could learn all sorts of insane stunts we can do with the dirt bike and or motorcycle whatever it is. Also, Days Gone fans would love something like this and dirt bikes would market Dying Light 2's popularity very well since Days Gone 2 was cancelled before and it would help Days Gone fans cope with that by playing something like this in Dying Light 2. But that's all my predictions for what we may see announced on February 8th for these upcoming content here in 2024 for Dying Light 2. Also, if you're a Dying Light fan, consider subscribing to the channel and also consider becoming a channel member too and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. <laughs>